everybody, this is Carrie with Homeschool Mom of Two. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. Today I'm going to share with you what I'm using for my soon to be ninth grader. And I have a high schooler this year, so, so crazy. I can't believe it. But anyway, I'm going to share with you what I'm going to be using. So if you're interested, stick around. Okay, friends, so welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I'm going to share with you what I'm using for my ninth grader this year. Okay, so for math this year for my ninth grader, he's gonna be doing teaching textbooks. Uh, we did do CTC math this past year, and um, it was good, and we just had some things that we maybe just weren't excited about to continue with, so um, we are gonna change back to teaching textbooks. Um, he will be doing Algebra 1, and I already had these on hand, um, otherwise we would have done the online version. Um, but my son does like going through the book. So if you want to do the DVD version, you get the book and, um, you get, this is how many you get with it. It's quite a bit. One, two, three, four, five, ten, ten discs. And if you don't want to do the DVD, you can do online. And you can also, if you do online, you can print this out yourself. So you have a paper copy if your kid needs something to go through as they do the discs. And then you also get the answer key. So that will be what we're using for math for ninth grade. For language arts, we are going to continue with the good and the beautiful. This is their high school level, um, high school one. And um, th this has 10 booklets with it. So they're, I mean, they're pretty thin. I think they last about two weeks. It's at a self pace. Um, so this will be good for, you know, high school and learn to be more independent. So I'll just kind of go through these really fast. But this is one, two, I just like the covers, they're nice to look at. I like that they're kind of broken down into units and that they don't feel so overwhelming and the, you know, they can feel like they've accomplished something and they can be finished with it. So that is all 10 of the units. Along with that, they will also be getting um, geography cards like they do in the lower grades. And they also get, not in that one, hold on. Geography, and they do some poetry memorization, and Latin for year one through four that they do. So that will be their cards. And then with each year, they will only need this for the first year, and then this will go with years two, all the way two, three, four. So um, this is just a writing and grammar guide to help them if they have questions like, What's an adjective again? What's this? How to do um, diagramming if they forgot how to do a certain one. So that's nice. So we will be doing this for language arts. And along with that, it comes with five books. And the five books are here. So I'll go through those. Uh, the first one will be Up From Slavery, Just David, Patterns on the Wall, the story of John Greenleaf Whittier and Into the Unknown. So this is my language arts for my ninth grader this year. For um, history this year, my ninth grader will continue to do not grass history. Um, we did not grass last year, so we decided to stay with it. And we're going to do exploring world history. Um, so if you're new to um, not grass, they usually do two books. Um, for their section. So they'll have like first semester supposed to be part one, creation through the middle ages. And then you'll have part two, the Renaissance to the present. So he'll be doing that. And then along with that, um, it has assigned reading from this book, which is called In Their Word. So you'll, it'll tell you what to read and you just go to that page. It's usually just one page or something, you know, like read that along with your reading. One to two pages usually, it's not too much. Just extra documents and speeches and things like that from history. I also will be assigning him the student review to answer questions about what he read. It usually will have your questions and then just like a little commentary about to read. Answer key, 
quiz and exam book. And I will not be requiring him to um, do Bible through this because we'll have our own Bible time. But um, you can do the whole thing, do Bible and literature. I do have the books for, for this. Sorry for the glare. I do have the books. I will show them to you as well, but um, I'm not going to require him to read all of them. Um, he'll be reading through language arts, those books, and then I might assign him a couple from them. So I'll show you what comes with this curriculum for um, reading, and you can decide if you like this, if you'd like to read those books. Um, we're only going to read a couple, so hold on just a second. Okay, so here are the books that come with Notgrass's World History. And um, the reason I have these books is because I bought this curriculum off of a friend, and she had the whole set, and buying it from her was even way cheaper than buying it online uh, just for the books in general. So I was just like, give me all of it. So I have it. So here is what comes with it, and I will probably pick and choose a couple of these for him to read with it. Um, so the first one, C.S. Lewis, uh, The Abolition of Man. The, I really don't know how to say this. I'm sorry. I'll just let you look at it. <laughs> I will butcher it probably. Uh, William Shakespeare's Julius Caesar. The Imitation of Christ. Here are a stand, A Life of Martin Luther. It's a pretty thick book. I think that would, some of these I'm not having to read just because I know he would be overwhelmed if I gave him one of these books. So you just have to know your child and how they are. This is a lot of reading. So. You know your kid. You can figure out what they can read and can't read. The Art of War. This one's like super skinny. So you can go from super thick to really thin book. A Tale of Two Cities. North and South. The Hiding Place. Corey Ten Boom. Animal Farm. And Cry the Beloved Country. So here's what comes with um, the high school American or world history for not grass history. For science this year, my son in ninth grade is going to be doing friendly biology. Um, I got this recommendation from Candace from Homeschool on the Hill, so I will link it down below. She has a full review and um, a, like, she goes a flip through of the whole curriculum. So if you'd like to see that, I'll put it below and you can check it out. Um, so this here is the book for it. So this is their like textbook of what they will be doing. It has lots of pretty colors, pictures, and I think it's an easy read for my son. It would be perfect for him. That's why I picked this one. Um, they also, Friendly Biology also has other curriculum like Friendly Chemistry and so on. So this is the textbook. Then you'll have the student workbook. So in the student workbook is Mostly like filling in blanks, doing some crossword puzzles, things like that. Kind of the same throughout the whole the whole year. And then you'll have lesson, test, and answer key. Uh, the, now the thing with this is the tests and answer keys are together. So they do recommend like splitting it apart because like here are all the tests and the answers are in the back so I can't really give my kid the tests in this book because the answers are back here which I did go through and I highlighted myself so I could grade his tests faster so um, Candace recommended she broke apart her book where the tests in and the answers start so I will be doing that as well so here is friendly biology and as well this comes with a video um, program that you can also purchase on top of this. I will be doing that and watching videos with this. And um, I might also purchase the audio to help my son with just to make it easier maybe to listen to the audio as he's reading this book. That's also an additional fee, but you can choose that if you have an audio, audio learner. Yeah, a <laughs> person that lives by audio. So anyway, this is an awesome curriculum. I'm excited to try this, and I think he will love it. So for biology for ninth grade, we're doing friendly biology.
And the last thing we're going to be doing is our 24 family ways. Um, I'm hoping to do this as a family, like once a week throughout the whole year, to do it as a family devotion uh, with my husband. He's been home a lot from work and stuff, and it's been a great time just to grow together. So I got this recommendation from uh grit and grace on youtube and i will link her down below but she said she enjoyed this this year for her homeschool family and i wanted to try and it looked nice so real quick i'll just show you what it what it goes over see if it's something you would like um it goes through concerning authorities relationships possessions work attitudes and choices um we do read our bible as well so this will just be on top of what we already do as a family. And so, yeah, if you're interested, I'll, I'll link this down below as well, okay? Okay, so that is what we're going to be using for our ninth grade year. I'm just going to add a couple extra things that I'll be doing, and I got them on my list here. Um, but what was not pictured is uh, my son is going to be doing fine arts, which he plays the piano. So he'll be taking piano lessons, um, and that'll be at least once a week and practice throughout the week. And then we do PE. We normally do it at the YMCA. And because of COVID, I don't know if they'll be offering that yet. So we'll just see how that goes. If not, I'll throw in something for PE. And I will be doing something for health for half of the year. And I'll have something on that. I just don't have that to show right now. Um, and then he'll also be doing Consumer Z. We got him Dave Ramsey um, finance course for high schoolers. So he's going to be doing a half credit for that as well. So that is what I have for my ninth grader. So let me know what you think of my selection. If you have a high schooler and you'd like to share what you're going to be using for them, I'd love to know. Anyway, thank you for stopping by. Have a blessed day and look forward to my next video with my son. I'll be doing a seventh grade curriculum haul and what I am using for my seventh grader. But you have a wonderful day and I'll talk soon. Bye.